Okay, let's just create a 2D spiral or maybe a 3D spring using helix command from the draw panel. Okay, I'm just changing the view to the, as you can see from this icon to the southwest isometric. You can also just click view and then the drop down and then as you can see we have southwest isometric. Okay, it does not matter. Now, let's just move ahead. You can just type H-E-L-I-X or you can say helix in the command bar then press enter. Now as you can see if you don't know what to do just look at the command bar. AutoCAD is asking to specify the center point at the base. You can just click in the working area does not matter. Now AutoCAD is asking for the diameter or maybe for the radius. Let's just provide 5 units of radius. Okay. Now as you can see AutoCAD is asking to specify the top radius. Okay that 5 unit was just for the bottom radius. Let's just repeat the same video for the top and for the bottom as well. Now as you can see you can just move your cursor to see the helix okay. As you can see it is just a 2D spiral you can say okay. Now if you don't know what to do look at the command bar again helix height. You can just provide the helix height, the axis, the tons, the tons height. This is just actually the pitch height okay and the number of turns you can provide okay you can also just change the the twisting like from the clockwise to counterclockwise if you click this as you can see we have two options that is actually the counter clock okay and then the clock okay CW means the clockwise and CCCW means the counterclockwise as you can see if I just changed it from the counter clock to clockwise you can just see the changes as you can see it is now clockwise you can see that it is just rotating clockwise okay you can also right click and change the twisting okay from the clockwise to counterclockwise as you can see it is again the same thing you can also provide the tons height as you can see let's just provide it four units and then press enter now as you can see the tons height that is just you can say fixed okay you can now provide the overall height for the spiral or maybe for the spring. Okay, let's just see and let's say that is just actually 20 units does not matter. Okay, so this is actually a 2D spiral now. Okay, you can make it uh, like a spring maybe 3D. Okay, if you just draw a small circle over here. Okay, any radius, any diameter does not matter. Now let's just type sweep. Okay, in the command bar. That is a pretty nice functionality okay then press enter now as you can see we can just specify the object which we want to sweep okay and that is actually the circle now let's just press enter or space from the keyboard and now let's just specify the path which is actually this uh, you can say helix maybe spiral and that's done actually you can change the shade okay from the 2d wireframe to conceptual let's see and let's try 3d o or you can say 3d orbit and that is actually a 3d spring okay you can also provide something else like for the section okay let me just undo these things and let me just delete this circle okay we can just try another thing like maybe a revision cloud okay or uh, you can say rev and then cloud let's try a revision cloud if we can have a you can say something pretty cool like like this one okay and let's try it again by typing sweep okay press enter click this guy press space and let's just specify the path and let's just wait for it okay that's done and uh, let's change the shade into the realistic maybe or something else look at it okay look at that that's pretty cool okay let's just see that in the conceptual okay that's amazing you can see that okay so this is how you can use helix uh, to create a 2d spiral or maybe a 3d spring see you in the next video